Oh, YouTube. Oh, what's up, YouTube? So last week was hectic week. Uh, welcome to my channel, Open Mason, for those who are new. Uh, yeah, last week was long. We uh, went down to London, cousin's wedding. And uh, as I was driving up with my wife and my daughter, I was thinking, what can I talk about in the video, you know? You know, my PC was up here in Manchester and I was visiting mum, dad and my brother in London with obviously cousin's wedding. And I thought, you know what, let me talk a little bit about getting into the industry, how I, my experience, how I got into the industry. And I just thought this is quite a good point to share where, although like we're kind of targeting what niche we want to be in, right? So we want to be in animation, environment art, what have you. So when I graduated, I didn't get a job for about, I would say about eight, nine months. I worked free in London, post-production houses, picking up client, coffee for clients, dropping off reels at other post-production houses, you know, because all of them used to work together. So you'd drop off uh, negatives at a certain uh, post-production house. They would grade it, what have you. So I did all that, got in touch with an agent, um, got some interviews and all that. But really what happened was, I applied for my first job was at Ninja Theory and I applied for an animation position and I got an interview and I went in and because I was work because I didn't get a job for nine months I was at home with my parents and I was working on my short film at the time and working on my showreel and sending showreels out what have you to companies getting rejected what have you and um, I was working on my short film and I was building the sets and I was texturing and I was doing all kinds of stuff, not just animation. And when I got the interview for Ninja Theory, I had the interview and the art director, I remember Hughes, he was brilliant, brilliant guy, amazing artist. He said, why don't you come in as an environment artist? And I was like, but I want to animate. But obviously back then I graduated and animate and I wasn't good at all at animating. And when I saw the animators there, they were like, proper pros like top notch like they were brilliant and he said come in as an environment artist because we like your texture and modeling and then we we'll put you in with a, with a designer and then you can do some simple animation tests for him to put in game to see how it all works i said that sounds cool so i saw it as all right it's an opportunity to get into the industry and i got in and the art director was true to his word put me in as an animator, then a junior animator. And I just started hanging around more with the animators. The environment art was good, I liked it, but my heart was really in animation. When I was doing environment art, I was always looking back at the animation team and I was thinking, man, I want to be an animator. So I would do the environment art, but I would hang out, go to the animators' desks and ask them questions, this and that. I would try to be over, overly keen, you know, because, you know, this is what I wanted to do. and. There were some great, great animators there, you know, um, I was, became good friends with an animator called Ricky Wood. He was brilliant, you know, I learned a lot from him. He helped me a lot with my showreel, which eventually got me the job to go to California, to San Diego. Got opportunity there for about three years until the crash happened and then lost my job. Had to come back to the UK, but I talk about that in another video. But um, it was a brilliant, brilliant experience. So I made a lot of good contacts at that company and it's a very talented studio. So the point of this video is, you know, if, you're, if your intention is to do animation or environment art or concept art, but you happen to, but somebody in the company happens to see that you have another talent and it's your way into the industry. From my experience, just go for it because you're, you're getting your foot into the industry and that's what you want to do because once you're in, doesn't matter, right? Because once you're in, then you can say, oh, I can do this, or I can do that. And then you just use your initiative, right? You're like, all right, if you're inclined more towards animation, I'll do animation. If you're more inclined to it, you just ask those questions, you'll become curious. And people will see that you're keen, you know, that you want to learn. And more, more often than not, when you actually go up to an experienced person in their particular niche, animation, environment, arts, concept, whatever, they, they will love to share. They love to share what they're doing. They like that. They like that you're coming and approaching and asking. So never be afraid to ask questions, you know, instead of guessing. People will guess a lot, but ask questions as well, because you want to 
someone's already been there and done that, then you've got a straight line to get to where you want to go, you know, because they will, they will help you avoid all the mistakes that they have done. So I would, I would just say that this video is just a quick video I wanted to share with you guys, uh, something that helped me get into the industry. Hopefully it will help you guys as well. I know now a lot of the industry is very niche and people try to pigeonhole everyone right into all these different areas you're an animator you're this you're that which is good you're specializing in all this stuff but if you're out there and you're finding a lot of trouble to getting into the industry and if you do apply and the people who are interviewing you recognize another talent in you don't be afraid to go into the industry that way because it's all about just getting in and then it's just networking once you get your first foot in then it's just networking and then it's all about you just being keen and holding on to your position and working to keep that position as well because it's good to get into the industry but then you've got to keep it right because there's other people who are competing for that position so get in there when you when you when you can however you can if other people recognize that you have different talents and then just network from there yeah so all right man i'm not gonna babble on too long just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, i'll be doing some more videos just had a bit of a setback because of the wedding last week. Uh, I was a bit of a hectic week. And uh, yeah, driving up and down the country. But yeah, I'm back properly now up north uh, Manchester. So I will be doing some more videos. Yeah, So take care and I'll see you in the next video.